Hello everyone, my name is Annika. I'm originally from Germany and I used to dance in London and Los Angeles back in the day. So first of all, let me start by saying that of course I support this movement 100%. Uh, the dance world and that dance life has given me so much over the years. The things I've learned, how I've been inspired, the friendships I've made. So this is really the least I can do to speak out and stand in full solidarity. Uh, even though this is a complex subject, I believe we as white people have a special duty and responsibility to speak out. Um, even if there will maybe always be an element of ignorance because we've been swimming in our white privilege soup our entire life. And so we cannot probably fully imagine what it's like to, to live in, and work in a system that's rigged against you and that's still unjust. So back when I started at college, there was only one mixed student amongst all us white uh, students. And that seems very strange, don't you think? I mean, how's that possible? Was there some economic privilege at work? Um, we only had one black teacher that was a regular on the staff. Um, but again, he was super qualified, overqualified. He could have easily been the creative director and decision maker, yet it appeared like he was kept down and just kept in the position as the jazz teacher. Um, I remember being on many gigs uh, with more white dancers or let's say contemporary dancers who had a different strength and then the production company wanted um, a more urban or street dance hip-hop feel but instead of getting the right people for the gig they would keep um, the the dancers and the choreographers on that had a different style and uh, would rather have them misappropriate a black culture style or a hip-hop routine that wasn't really theirs then book the right people for the job. There were so many gigs where the makeup artist didn't have the right hue makeup for the female black dancers or wouldn't really know how to properly style afro hair or wouldn't have the right fishnet color tights for the dancers. I mean, can you just imagine the added stress and humiliation having to go on camera or on stage not having the right tone makeup on your skin? Just absolutely horrendous. I mean, coming from Germany back then, of course, working and dancing in London, it was so much more diverse. And you're naive then when you think, oh, wait, finally, you know, there's a mixed up community and everybody's equal. Be because, of course, it was not the case. And um, there were many gigs where I felt like black choreographers creative artists and dancers were shut out or just kept to minimum. I remember the black token black, black dancer. I remember it. And it, it almost felt like it had the opposite effect that for some gigs, let's say for example the MOBA Awards, finally the black artist community could celebrate themselves, be amongst themselves and really be free and authentic. And I feel really privileged and honored that I got to participate there. Um, because I, I could really see everybody was finally themselves and, and laughed and didn't have to dim their shine or dilute their essence and their energy to cater to the white fragility and insecurity. And, and that really, I remember that energetically a lot. It really was, finally they could be themselves and, and, and because in many other settings there were only the only black token dancer and so they would have to try to like fit in or not be themselves. Um, terrible really. And I have to say that um, to this day um, the, the gigs for Priscilla Samuels and working for her and being around her was the most inspirational moments because she was so much more than a choreographer. She was this fierce black unapologetic woman. She was super talented but she was giving you so much more than just uh, really great work. She she would mentor you or she had so many philosophical insights that, that she would share. So um, yeah, I, I th those really were one of my favorite moments that I remember to this day. Another point I want to make is that um, classical ballet is often referred to as the foundation of dance or the highest measurement of what qualifies a professional dancer. And I think that's a really dangerous notion and again, sort of uh, creates a, a westernized white hierarchy in dance. 
yes, classical ballet is a is a is a hard discipline to master, and yes, it gives you a lot of control over your body, but it's just one discipline and one style out of many. Other dance styles have another foundation, have another technique and another flow to it. So why should classical ballet be the be all and end all? Um, so I think that too needs to be challenged. Um, and I do remember mixed dancers being oftentimes used more likely than black dancers. Was it because they were making it more palatable for the white audience or the white production company? Um, and that too is, is terrible when you think that there, there is a distinction or a colorism happening amongst black and mixed dancers. So yes, while the dance world and the world of art and music might be more inclusive and more open-minded than maybe a more conservative industry, it also, the Achilles heel of it is that there's a scarcity of gigs and maybe not as many jobs as there is creatives. So that when finally a person does book a gig or is in a, power, is in a position of decision making, they're scared to challenge the status quo because they finally got the gig. And that I think is um, sort of difficult to battle. Nevertheless, we must press on. It's a life work. Um, trust this German lady, I carry my country's past on my back and I will for, for as long as I live. And even if I haven't been there, even if I didn't commit atrocities myself, it's my responsibility to make it right, my responsibility to speak about it, and that goes for white people. So we have a responsibility to make things right. Peace.